Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast. Welcome back to more Smite Conquest playing Bacchus in the jungle today. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Uh, Bacchus doesn't really get playtime in the jungle. He's pretty much just a guardian. And and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leap on some people. We're gonna have a Merry Christmas. It's just it's gonna be a good time. Got Susano in their jungle and uh, who's solo? Thoth? Why? That's so whatever. I mean we're Bacchus jungle, I can't judge, right? Uh <laughs> But honestly, like, Bacchus is actually a decent jungler. The thing with Bacchus is his early game is actually just gross. Like, not in a good way, like, just bad gross. Uh, his early game is actually garbage. So, that's the problem with him. Uh, you know, basically, physical characters in general are just going to have a better time. That said, Susano is messing up. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? You don't fight an Arachne there. We helped. We helped. Okay? We helped. Um, yeah, I don't know why he took that fight. Like, he didn't have cooldowns, and Arachne just kind of went on him. But... Yeah, Bacchus early game, pretty weak. I mean, you can see we don't really do much damage for the most part. We've got our flop and our three and stuff. But we don't have don't have too much CC, don't have too much damage, so we're not going to contribute all that much. Um, but as we get into the mid-game, as we get into our item phase and just kind of level up our abilities, we'll actually get pretty hard. Uh, and you guys will be able to see that and enjoy that soon. One of the big things for Bacchus, if you do want to play him in the jungle, I mean, you see this on support as well, but just when playing Bacchus, his ultimate chunks, man. The thing does so much damage. Um, so that's going to be the big thing that you guys are going to see is just how hard this thing hits. He dashed already. Can we stick to him or is she going to back off? She's got the spiders, but I don't think we can kill because we have to give up wave if we want to kill him. So I'm fine with her not chasing there. Like she could have reached him and done a little bit of damage, but we wouldn't be able to kill him or anything. So I don't have my speed buff yet. I think we'll just stick to waves for now. Just try and be a little more farm efficient. We don't really want to miss wave farm because waves are just more valuable than buffs in terms of actual experience and gold. So... I think we'll just stick to this for now. Okay, let's back off. I am going to max my 2 instead of my 3. A lot of people will max the 3, but especially when you're in the jungle, I think it's more important to have that initiation damage on the jump. Uh, that's not going to be as good for my wave clear, though, or my jungle buff clear, so there's going to be some ups and downs to it for sure. It's going to be a little bit weird ganking because a lot of time we probably will be using our jump as, uh, as clear, like right here. You know, if I, if I was able to clear this buff a little bit quicker, and then I rotated mid or I rotated solo, then I wouldn't have jump for, you know, for a few seconds. I'd have to be smart about how I gank. Susano's in mid. Uh, hopefully they're being careful and they're out. Scotty is way overextended, so I'm guessing she might not be, because she's just insanely pushed up. Uh, we got ultimate up, which is really, really good. We probably can't kill solo, but we could try. It's a thaw, so it's gonna be it's going to be a challenge for sure. Uh, we'll look to go... Oh, he's mid, he's mid. Oh, we'll just look to turn on mid. Can I reach these guys? Well, they don't know. They don't know. We'll dunk him. And we're gonna disengage for, for now, try and just stay away from the damage for the most part as Arachne gets a chance to go in. Um, and then we'll just try and stick to him through the slow. Probably not gonna be able to do anything more here at this point. That was a good gank. That was a good gank. Uh, I did use my ultimate on the Kepri early. I wasn't totally sure if I'd be able to... Uh, to kill him with a three. Like, obviously, if he doesn't have anything to get out of my three, then I'm going to be able to kill him. But I didn't want to, like, have any situation where, oh, maybe his dash is up and he dashes out of the three. And then I have to chase him with ultimate and try and catch up to him and stuff like that. So I just went for the sure kill, uh, even though I probably could have killed him with the belch. Just because I was pretty sure with Arachne coming in with her ultimate like she did, uh, it wouldn't matter. We just use a stun on the Ron. That'd still get him killed, which worked out. So good start, man. Good start. We're 102. Uh, game's going really well for our team so far. We're at 5 to 1, uh, and we're actually really high on farm. I'm level 6 and a half. Freya's the only other person level 6 yet. Uh, so that's pretty decent, man. That's pretty good. Yeah, we, uh, the, the jungle clear is actually not terrible right now. It's not great. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So uh, it's not like crazy slow clear. Bakas actually does have some decent clear abilities compared to at least some of the Guardians. We'll try and get in mid here. I've got eight seconds on my belch, or not my belch, my, uh, my, what do you call it? My ult. Um, let's see if we can clean up here at all. Looks like Kepri's gonna get out. Looks like Scotty's gonna go down. But we can maybe clean up the raw if he's gonna, oh, just kidding. Try and knock him immune the two real quick. Ooh, nice pull, nice pull. Oh, that was a hot teleport, but I think we got him. I think we got him. We're gonna beads this if we can. Try and just smack him. No, he got the stun! You're kidding me. You're kidding. He actually got that stun off. It felt like they had a billion people there. I got hit by just about everything. Why does Hieroglyphic Assault do... Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I, I derped on the abilities. 
<laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It just they just I'm pretty sure they just had more people there. I don't know where Arachne was. I I don't know if she like did she die? No? Huh. I don't know. It was weird. I think she just backed at a really weird time. Cuz I'm pretty sure she'd already backed before that, right? Did she just back for like like a half an item? I think she did. So, I don't know. I expect us to have rotations there. I wasn't paying much attention to the map. I just figured we'd be fine. At very least, I thought I'd be able to kill Susano. That's why I committed to him. I just didn't do enough damage. Um, I was pretty sure... Honestly, if we had pen boots, I bet we would have killed him. I don't know why I went CDR boots. That was dumb on my part. <laughs> it's not... You don't go CDR boots on Bacchus. You go damage on Bacchus. So, I don't know what I was thinking. Whatever. Can you not... I'm just going to Bumba's heal it up, man. There's not even a point. Just go back to your tower and cry, okay? Thank you. By the way, Dante uh, is the, the Thoth on their team. Even though it's not a ranked game, uh, they've got Dante. I don't even know who Pimp is, but apparently Pimp is good because I've seen him in some streams. Um, but, like, they've got... These are, like, Diamond Masters level Conquest players for at least a few of them for whatever reason. Uh, which, I mean, I guess that's fair enough since I am as well, but still... Oh, I thought he'd go towards the lane. If we hit that, I mean, I wouldn't be able, I couldn't reach it as the point, but if it did land, I would have been able to just probably just kill him with Scotty. Although Scotty wasn't paying attention, so maybe not. <laughs> Scotty's all like, I gotta kill the bird. He's been killing me all game. Scotty, come on, push up. Don't run away. We can just fight. We can fight, Scotty. We're, you're, I am Bacchus. Do you not understand this? Don't run back to your tower. Excuse me? We're gonna kill them. Okay, well, now we're not, because we don't have a support here, and he's level 4 for reasons. What the? Why is he? What? What are you doing with your life that you're a level 4 Hercules seven minutes into the game? I just, I don't even understand, man. You're Hercules. How do you fall behind on a, on the Herc, you know? He probably doesn't have the Derpy Lee skin. That's probably what it is. We're going to go gank a right lane. Capri's there for reasons. Get him. Nope. Arachne, oh yeah, 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 that's what I like, that's what I like, come here, come here, boom, oh, I actually didn't think he'd get that off in time, I, I thought the Kepri would be too busy pulling that he wouldn't be able to, uh, to save the Thoth, damn it, man, I'm not gonna jump on this guy, he's just gonna be able to dash back, and honestly, they'll just collapse on me if I do, oh well, I'm surprised I didn't stun in time either, that kind of sucks, Really wanted that to land. Uh, we're just going to clear it out real quick, and then I think we'll farm up a little bit more before we head back to base. I think we probably want to go uh, the ring. What's the damage ring? Shaman's ring? Uh, I think we probably want to build that this game, because I should be doing plenty of damage that we can get away with it. Oh, is Hercules just lagging his balls off? I think he is. I think he is. Because he just warped on me real quick. Yeah, let's push this up real quick. Smack. All right, let's go. This guy shouldn't have the damage to kill me at all. Especially if he misses his two. I just ran in a straight line. Calculated jukes. Calculated jukes. Just got to run in straight lines. People always miss. Rangas? Ew. So yeah, we'll go into a Shaman's, I guess. Uh, so we're going to want to build... Once we actually get that online, we'll want to stack up some damage. Get a 5,000 damage on and, and we'll do 10% more after that. Um, I'm kind of pissed that I went Shoes of Focus. I think I'd have at least one kill if I'd... Uh, <laughs> If I had gone pen boots instead, maybe two kills. I might have killed that Thoth as well in time. But, oh well. It happens, it happens. So we'll grab our speed real quick. Um, right now, in terms of where to gank, it's kind of a weird situation we're in. We are against a Kepri. Kepri's actually... This is this is not a matchup. This is not from matchup experience. This is just from from game knowledge. Uh, Kepri is a pretty hard counter to Bacchus jungle. Bacchus is a very high commitment leap in and just one shot you type character. Kepri can just keep someone from dying. So why does Ra have speed? Pull me, I dare you. Why is Apollo ulting? What the, what is going on in this game, man? Apollo's just flying through the sky for no apparent reason. Uh, like, everybody ever is over in the middle lane. Hercules is, like, not around anywhere. You're dead! <sighs> You're dead. Okay, it's just, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, Freya got the kill. I'm a little bit salty because I wanted to ult for the kill, but whatever. It's, we helped, we helped. Poor Arachne is getting her poor little spider legs dove. And I don't think she has a chance to live. But we can maybe turn. I don't have ult. 
Hercules is going to be late again. Herc's rotations, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to trash on this dude, but his rotations have been absolutely terrible this game. He's so out of position all the time. Like, he's never helping. Okay, speaking of terrible, let's miss another flop real quick. Can you not just super speed on me? That was a good pull. Uh, we should be able to turn on the Kepri here. Not really turn, but finish off the Kepri here. Oh, especially if the boulder lands. Come here! Uh, especially if the boulder lands, yeah. Hercules really... Dude, just get out of the tower. Don't die. <laughs> I can't believe Arachne didn't die in that dive, man. I'm sure she just healed up with her one crazy amount. Her one heals for so much at the base level. Dash for me. Dash for me. Dash for me. Please? Okay, don't. Fine. I wanted to bait it without jumping, but he didn't want to do it. Okay, Shaman's... Do we have money? I think it's 1100, right? For Shaman's? Yeah. Okay, let's go get a Shaman's. Actually, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's do it. We're not here, Thoth. We're not here. Surprise, we're here! Beads it. Easy. Oh, he Aegis. Get him around. <gasps> Your team did something. It's okay. It's okay. I forgive her. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive her. <laughs> she missed the ult. I baited out his Aegis there. I pre-beads to stun, which is a little bit hot. I think he might have missed the stun, so I don't know if it mattered. Uh, but that was a good play right there, is to basically beads before he could stun out my three, which made meant he was basically either going to die to the three, or he was going to Aegis it, and I thought Arachne would be able to kill her. Unfortunately, Arachne missed the ultimate. It's okay. It's not a big deal. We got his Aegis down. That's pretty valuable. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. We basically traded actives there. It's, it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, it's tough to kill the Thoth. Thoth's a really good player. Uh, Dante's just, like, he's... I, I'm pretty sure he's Master's Conquest. You see him a lot in the in, in the high-level rank game, so he's a good player. It's going to be a little bit challenging to kill him on a very safe god. Thoth's one of the safest characters in the game. He's basically better Agni, in my opinion, at least. Slightly different. Slightly different, but pretty similar. Oh, we did get that off in time. I wasn't sure if he would. Look at that Thoth range, man. Here comes the poke. Here comes the poke. One of the good things in this matchup for Arachne, even though she probably can't do too much to him, is uh, that Thoth... What was I going to say? He can't really poke her much. He can't really do too much poke to Arachne just because Arachne's got such good healing. So uh, even though Arachne solo normally might have a rough time with somebody with as good clear as Thoth, I think that she can just heal through most of his damage anyways. We're just going to keep tagging some farm here, I think. They've already got a Kepri over here, so I'm just trying to help out the Arachne a little, little bit, give her some pressure. We're not going to go on the Kepri. Okay. Try and CC Munis too, real quick. Again, that Capriolt, dude. Like, I can't kill him through the Capriolt. It's so annoying. It's just like, what do I even do? It's just such a hard counter. That's what I'm talking about with this matchup, man. Like, like I could, I would be like five and one right now if it wasn't for stupid Capriolt. We're diving this man. Surprise! I'm a Bacchus. Oh, yeah, I guess. He actually knew. <laughs> I didn't think he knew, man. Uh, we're going to reset that real quick. Unfortunately, Frey got Tower Aggro, not Hercules. Ooh, that's a bad whiff to have. That's a bad whiff to have, man. Just get out. Get out of the tower. What, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, man? I'm not going to I'm not gonna jump on him here. We're just going to try and disengage. I can't dive that deep. I've got too little health right now. Later, boys. Later. This is not the fight for me. Remember, we're, we're damaged Bacchus. I'm going to get blown up if I go in there. So we got to be a little a little careful. Just a little bit. Um, maybe? I think Bracer might actually be really good on Bacchus. I feel like in the past I've enjoyed it a lot, so we'll try Bracer. Even though you don't see a lot of Bracer in Conquest right now. I just feel like Bacchus can really easily get blown up. And, uh, and especially since we're going to have some cooldown in this build because we're going Spirit Desolation next. We've already got 20% cooldown between our boots and our Sands of Time. That, uh... That the bracer reset cooldown with the with the active upgrade should be pretty valuable. On my way. Is your ult up again? There's his Aegis there. That's gonna keep him alive for now. We actually might just be able to stick to him. Can I reach him here? Literally, their entire team is here, and I couldn't jump that wall. Okay, I don't even know. That sucks. <laughs> I was pretty sure I could kill him, but they have four minimum people there. Uh, for what 
whatever reason, they're all still there and nobody recalled, so that's just unfortunate. <laughs> that's just very, very weird positioning from their team, so I got very caught out. An ally has been slain. I feel like we're just constantly down people. Their Thoth is rotating like crazy, their Ra's rotating like crazy, but I feel like Scotty's not and Hercules is in weird positions, so a lot of these fights I feel like I have to either rely on the Freya or I have to rely on the, uh, the Arachne, and I can't really rely on anybody else, I feel like. Just because their positioning's weird, you know? But I guess we'll just farm up, man. Like, this is, it's boring to farm. I want a more aggressive game, but I think we just have to. I can't do anything to their team comp unless we get more people in fights. They have a Kepri, right? You can't pick when there's a Kepri and you're the only one doing damage or the second person doing damage, you know? Uh, this guy's an ultimate that is literally there. It's like, oh, is your Aegis down? Don't worry, I'll just revive you with my ultimate. Um... Which is very, very miserable to deal with when you don't have a lot of people. The reason Kepri isn't that good is that team fights, Kepri kind of sucks. His ultimate is there to revive you, and then you get killed once you get revived. It's not a big deal. You have five people, that one pick isn't that important. But when you're just like 2v2ing or 2v3ing, it's a kind of big deal. You're dead. <laughs> I did not think you'd get blown up like that. That's actually insane. He didn't go beads. That was a misplay. He went bracer. Don't get me wrong. Bracer's good. Bracer's good, but I don't know why you went... Oh, that's a bad teleport. That's a bad teleport. We can knock him in real quick. Dunk on him. I'll try and see... Oh, it didn't matter. He he, uh, he was CC me in there with his ultimate anyways. We'll just try and disengage if we can. Please. Please, sir. Please. No, I have a family. I have a family. I have a family. Oh, I was hoping at least Kepri would get the kill or something. That sucks. This guy's doing a ton of damage. He's got Doom Orb into Boots into Spear of Desolation. He's got 30 pen, and he's got a billion power. So, that kind of hurts. Yeah, not much we can do about that. I think I flopped into his ult too, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I, I missed ult and I belly flopped into it. Not a good combo. Not a good combo to have. But, oh well. Scotty getting a little frag on Apollo. Nice. Here comes the raw. Here comes the raw. He doesn't have ultimate. They should just be able to... Oh, I guess Thoth there. They probably can't fight. They probably can't fight. They should be able to fight the raw, okay. But they're going to have a tough time dealing with the Thoth at the same time. Those two are an annoying combo. It's a really annoying combo. Ra plus Thoth. Uh, Ra's not normally too obnoxious of a character. He's got some good range and really good sustain. But Thoth is like insane combined with Ra if they play it right. Because not only do they have insane range burst damage uh, and poke, but they have Ra heals mixed with Thoth poke, and that's terrifying. Thoth is the best poke character in Smite. He pops his three, he pops his one, he has more range than anybody, it does a lot of damage, it's easy to hit, right? So that's kind of scary. Ra, meanwhile, puts his heal down on Thoth, and Thoth doesn't take poke back. So Thoth pokes you, you don't poke Thoth, right? Like, that's that's the potential in that comp. I don't think they're really using it, but it's something that could happen, and it'll be really scary if it does. Alright, can somebody come over to Soul Lane? I want to get some more frags. Kepri, come here. Hey, you wanted it. You got it. Arachne, get him. You wanted it, Kepri. Remember that. Oh, okay. We're just, like, dying here. I guess. All right, so you died. Be careful, lights. Enemies incoming. Oh, God. What is that character, man? I hate Thoth so much. There, there are not that many characters in Smite that I hate. Scotty and Thoth are pretty much top of the list. I just feel like they're so dull to play into, and that was such a perfect example of why. I'm going on, I'm going on Kepri, right? I'm going on Kepri. Okay, so if I'm going on Kepri here, and Thoth is back at his tower, Kepri's over here in the middle lane, Thoth's back at his tower, right? I, I, I jump on the, the Kepri. Thoth, press three. One, 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 two. Press three. One, 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 two. Ult, dead. You know, it's just like, I can't even reach him if I want to there. So you need more people to deal with Thoth in that situation. It's just, I don't know. I think it's any character with range that you literally cannot, like, jump to is just stupid, in my opinion. Just, that's just me. It's like he actually has more range than I could possibly get to with my massive leap, you know? Probably should be helping Freya, but I feel like, oh, just kidding. No, I should have just been helping Freya. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, but I feel like she's going to just die here and not be able to get anything off of it. No, I should have just helped her. Is this my portal demon? Are you doing it just for me? Oh, no. I get chunked by their team. It's almost like I'm building full damage. Pull me. Or don't. I thought he was going to be able to reach his two there, so I just popped my beads. Whoops. 
I guess he wasn't quite in range. It looked like he probably was. Uh, oh, well, that's fine. A bead's thinking that it's going to save my life isn't a big deal. I just kind of misread, re misread the range a little bit. Or his two is down. I don't know. One or the other. I thought he could reach me. So we do not want to be fighting at their portal right now. Um, has been slain. Once they get Portal down like that, it's not really a good idea for for a fight there. Just because they're going to just be able to teleport back on through full HP as soon as they recall. So, a sustained fight like that's a really risky idea, and that's why I had so many deaths there. Although, honestly, I think people just misplayed as well, but it's going to tend to happen in fights like that. Just really, really, really tough to fight on Portal, uh, especially if you're not ahead. If you're ahead, you can maybe do it. They're going to push right. There's not much we can do about it. God, this is an unfortunate game for Box Jungle. The poor guy... Just can't do much. Like they just they just shred me and I can't stick to them. They have too much mobility. They have too much damage to begin with and then too much mobility. So it's really, really frustrating. Like if I commit, right? If I commit, not only do I have to worry about the Thought Dash, the Susano 3, the Susano 1, you know, those those mobile characters. Uh, but I have to worry about the Kepriel. Ra I can kill pretty easy. Apollo's not a big deal. But that stupid Thoth and Susano, they've got so much mobility, then you get surprise Capriol. Boom! Again, surprise Capriol. Um, I guess it's not that much of a surprise, but it's a thing. Ra, I want you. Capri, you're next. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I've got speed buff for a couple seconds. I can stick to him for a little while. They want to get to him. They want to get to him, so I'll stick to him for now. Ooh, can you slow him? Try and. Try and. We'll try and body block his dash here. Got him. Nice. Got a little body block action. Got him slowed into the uh, the Scotty ult. So that's pretty good. If we get this fire giant, that would be incredible for us. That said, I feel like I'm going to die going for this fire giant. I feel like I'm going to be in a really tough position to stay alive here. Because I have 1200 HP. I don't really have defense. It's just, it's going to be rough. Secure. <gasps> no. Ra got a really good snipe. There wasn't anything to do about that. He just, he wasn't visible. I tried to secure it over the Apollo. I was going to. Ross Knight came through the wall. That's why it was a risky play. It was part of why it was a risky play. Um, I think it was fine to go for there. We were already pretty behind. I don't really blame our team too much for calling that. Uh, should I go Polly? Probably. Probably go Polly. Let's see, what are they building? Full damage. Full damage. Full damage. Little defense. Full damage. Okay. Yeah, we don't really need to worry about uh, about more penetration right now. So we can basically go Rod or we can go... Ooh, this is a little close. I think she probably just could have killed him, though, honestly. <laughs> he was trying to pull the Freya back. I think she could have just turned on him and hit him. He would have died. Um, but I think we can just get away with pretty much the penetration we have pretty easily. And then go Polly and then go Rod and do a lot of damage. And then hopefully uh, not get killed too, too easily. That's that's the main problem with, with Bacchus. When you're going full damage, I mean, realistically, if you want to build optimally, even if you are building damage Bacchus, you don't want full damage, just because that's just normally not a thing in Smite. Unfortunately, uh, with any sort of melee character, you pretty much want to build Bruiser, which is kind of boring, but it's just true. Um, but, but, if we're just trying to build damage Bacchus and we're not dealing with too much defense, we can go uh, Poly into Rod and do a crazy burst. Okay, do you have a pull? Damn. If he had a pull for him there, we actually probably could have burst him and killed him. I do a good amount of damage to Susano. Apollo should be able to get out if he doesn't do anything dumb. Let's see if he does something dumb. He's being a little dumb. Alright. <laughs> that works. <laughs> that works. Uh, I figured he had ult there for him to push up like that. Apparently he was just being a little dumb, you know? I feel like we've been over this. That's a little bit of bad, bad bracer on my part. Oh, is that going to reach? Oh, I'm so out of position. Not ballsy enough to dash me, Hothoth. Hoth. All right. I see you. Um, That's rough. We we lost that pretty hard. We got Herc down and we had Arachne down. So we got the pick on Apollo, who's just really out of position, but not doing much besides that. Oh, and Scotty's going down here. There's no way we're helping her out. He should just be able to, like, dash out. Or oh, no, apparently not. I figured he had something up to get out there. I guess he didn't. Flop. Get him. Get him. Oh, Capriol's going to help a lot here. But we can stun him. Oh, just kidding. Thoth. Oh, I should have gone Voidstone. I think we actually could, still could. I should have gone Voidstone away, like, a long time ago. I wanted to go full damage. I wanted to go full damage Bacchus this game, but that does not feel like it's working. Here, we'll get rid of our Sands of Time and get our Poly online. That Polly's going to help a lot with our burst. Please don't F6, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's have a fun game. 
since this game's not going too, too great, uh, <laughs> as, I, as I kill Ra, uh, since this game's not going too, too great, I'm trying, I'm gonna try and get a better Bacchus jungle game up soon, I think, uh, probably not super soon, but relatively soon, because you can totally frag with it, we're just having a tough time, uh, they have a good team, and it's just miserable comp-wise, I seriously, I would be like, at least, I think I would have like a 2.5 to 1 KD right now if it wasn't for Capri. This man has saved so many lives. Uh, we're playing well. It's just like Capri is, like I said before, it's like when we don't have more people to bait out the Capri ult, he is such a hard counter. Uh, I was hoping to actually block his, or uh, knock up his dash there, but I missed it a little bit. Like I knew he was going to dash there. Nah, there's nothing we can do about that. We're just going to get one shot by Thoth. Once I jumped and Thoth was there, I was pretty much dead, as long as he didn't miss stuff, which he didn't. Not too much to do about it, really. That's what I'm talking about, is like that Void Stone would help me so much, dealing with the raw damage, and especially the Thoth damage. Oh, is Freya dead? I think she is. Thoth just has to- Oh! Oh. Never mind. Oh! That actually, that was a really good ult. Turn on him, turn on him! Get him! Nice, nice. This is really good. Looks like Herc will go down, probably, but- Oh! He's not dead! Kepri is definitely dead, though. That boy's going down for sure. We actually are pretty in this now after all those kills. We're wiping them. I mean, they had FG for that fight. We just wiped three FGs off of a lot of their most important characters. It's really good. Oh, he does have Obsidian Shard, so Void Stone's not quite as valuable. I think we still go for it, don't get me wrong. It's just like it's going to be painful to, uh, to deal with that Obsidian Shard no matter what we build for defense. It is tempting to just go straight up Rod. I don't think we're going to do that, though. Uh, at least not yet, I should say. We will eventually. Can I get a speed buff, man? Can I just, can I get one? Because they've got pressure right now, we keep losing all our buffs, which really sucks. I just, I want a speed buff. It's so satisfying to have, you know? It's just, it should be a part of me, and once it's gone for too long, I just get sad. Should definitely go on this raw. I, I was hoping Arachne had a slow. I guess we'll just dash on him. There's Zagus beta down. Actually, we can probably just kill him. Kepri ult again, and there goes the Arachne, here goes me. I'm not going to be able to get my Bracer off in time. Oh, he got just far enough away, and then boom, Kepri ult, he lives, no problem. That's so frustrating, man. There's just not much to do about it. And Arachne, Arachne got baited into it too there. Like there wasn't, like once she committed, she's just gone. Uh, and then pretty much same for me. So it's just like, we want to, we have such a good pick comp, right? We have Scotty. Hercules, Arachne, Bacchus. This is pretty much all single target CC. Even Freya is very, very single target. So having that Kepri just pull away the pick, what we do is kill someone. You know, we kill one person really well. And when Kepri just keeps you from doing that, and then you get turned on immediately, and they have incredible range, incredible mobility, so you can't get away from it. It's just, it feels like it's basically just got counterpicked, and it's casual, so there's nothing you can do about it because you don't know what they're going to pick. Uh... It's rough. So glad he got buffed. Yeah, man. Susano's the reason they're winning this game. You're right, Scotty. Let's be salty that we die to a character. That character is OP. <laughs> so glad he got buffed. He's 9 and 7. Shut up. Shut up. What do you mean, so glad he got buffed? He's not the reason they're doing anything this game. Stop complaining. Stop complaining and focus on killing this man. How about that? I'm gonna die here. I don't care. We got the, we got the, uh, we got the Susano. It's worth it. It's worth it. Let's see if we can do anything in this fight here. They've got way overextended there for their health. They pushed up really, really hard and had basically no HP. Oh, she could have... No, that was such a bad Aegis. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Raul. Okay. I was like, how... I was trying to figure out what Thoth did to do 1,300 damage to poor little Freya with his ultimate down. Raw sniped him through the wall, and I just didn't get the animation. Or I was a little late on it. I don't know. Poor Freya just got wiped. Surprise. I'm pretty sure they could just end right now. They're just not doing it. Because they're trying to go on mid-Phoenix. They can't just, you know, they can't do the mid-Phoenix too easily, but they can end really easily. They have an incredible, incredible ability damage. And it looks like they are going to go for it now. Um, Does Herc have a chance? He's stalling for us, but I think they're going to be able to end it anyways. Are you trying to kill me or what? I don't know what the Rod's doing. I don't have ult yet. I'm trying to body block. I don't know how much I can do. There goes the snipe. There we go. Um, thank you guys for watching. I wish we had a better game. Honestly, I felt like I played pretty well. It's just 
Kepri's really painful to play against. You guys could see how many Kepri ults block kills. Like a billion, right? So that was tough to play through. It was still a fun game. It was still pretty competitive. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Been seeking for the glory say 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 my name and i've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame i'm sitting here in this empty room walls keep tumbling down